Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. I love being, and say what you will. I want your honest opinion. Go ahead. Sometimes I get shit for people because I like pajamas. <sighs> Oof. Okay. I like putting on a really, really comfortable pair of yeah. pajamas. In the winter, maybe a flannel, although it gets a little too hot, it could be a little hot, but not really because I sleep with it freezing. Right. So it's nice. And in the summer, I got these pajamas. They're so broken in. I have like seven, eight pairs. Yeah. And they're so broken in. I put them on. It just feels comfortable. Yeah. I, I'm a big pajama guy. You are. I've seen you in pajamas a lot. Like, I'll come over and you'll just be, like, walking around in pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I mean, the kids... Okay, I was about to say kids nowadays. Jesus Christ. Go, no go for it. Just but they breeze. wear their pajamas out. By the way, I started that. That was you? Not the pants. I put okay. the pajama, flannel pajama top. Men's traditional. Yeah. I used to wear that when we were in high school when I went out. <laughs> I did. I used to wear it to yeah. like like meetings and school meetings and improv <laughs> shows and stuff. I wore this. You were the shit. pajama guy. Anyway, people people get on my case about that. I don't know why. What's wrong with that? I don't fucking know. Well, you know what I do? I do the Adidas running sh- like either boxes. I wear boxes. Yeah, but I do that too. But the boxes aren't like they're not. Sometimes I'm not. In a, I'm mostly I opt to put on pajamas. All, all pajamas. Yeah. But with, with boxes underneath. You're yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm the same way with robes. Remember I went on a robe buying kick yes, for a while? that's right. Didn't you buy like, <laughs> didn't you spend? It was thousands of dollars on robes. You, didn't you Didn't you buy one robe in particular that was like a smoking, a silk robe that you spent like, didn't you get it monogrammed and it was like 500 bucks? No, there's two to, those are the those are the silk monogram pajamas that I that I bought. Okay, which I wear in Joker's Wild in the sleepover sketch. Okay, I have them. The robe that I bought was a was a thirteen hundred dollar robe. You did that for real, right? Yeah, I did that. That that I will tell you is 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 not good. Well, hey, let me tell you something. It's it's I wear it. I wear it to this day. I can't get behind that. It's silk. It's it's light in the summer. It's it's uh it's uh, you know holds in the heat in the winter. It's, <laughs> it's fun. Oh, is that what silk does? Is yeah. that the big selling point for silk? Yeah, it's always the right temperature. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It never. It, it always just does the right thing. Oh wow, I didn't it know feels that. Feels good. See, you you're t- too busy turning your nose up in my fucking robe. Ah, uh, so 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 you don't sweat in the silk? No. Oh, then maybe I'll get my pair myself a pair of silk. Yeah, you pajamas. don't have to spend that much money on. You know, you know what? I actually have two. Because I bought, remember, the plan at the time was I bought two robes. I bought the ultra expensive one. Yes. And, and then I bought like them. a compare them. That's what we do. We're smart consumers. Sure. Well, we're not that small because I didn't return any of them. So I have two you silk didn't. robes. And one of them, the cheaper one, uh, which is still great and by the way, feels just as good as, as the expensive one, is the one that Kenny Powers started wearing in the third season. I was wearing it watching uh, Get out. Eastbound and Down and he came on screen and I was like, holy shit. It was just, and then I felt bad about myself because I was like, it was obviously a joke. Right. And I was like, but I was like, fuck it. Yeah, but anyway. He blew all his money on like, but like I can't, I would never, that's too much money for a robe. Sure. I know that we're we've been working our whole lives. We're 40 and we're single. We don't have families, that wives, was kids. Right, right. So we can get a couple of toys, but that's insane. I, plus, I don't buy. I haven't really had any major purchases. The Twilight Zone pinball machine, which is two Let, years let's, ago. At let's, this point. Stop. let's let's stop. Let's stop because I'm you your, I'm your friend, and okay. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Talk to me. You you make major purchases. Don't say that you don't spend money. You make more major. Pur- you, you and Joe Gatto make purchases that are. I mean, God bless, but don't say that you don't make major like what? purchases. You, I could list ten things right now that you've bought that are all right. That in, insane amounts of money. Your prerogative. God, I hear, give me some. Okay, let's discuss the merits. Sure. The silk robe. We'll start with it. Thirteen hundred sure. bucks. Okay. Okay. Again, I'm not saying these things aren't cool. <laughs> yeah, got it. You just told me you. Oh, I hate. I spent money. Right, right, right. Come on. Okay. You bought a Twilight Zone pinball machine. Sure. How much was that? That was five thousand. <laughs> That's. That was ridiculous. 5, That's not ridiculous. Why does it maintain its value? Resale it, value. Well, it does. It actually goes up, but but it was such a. Uh, Icon from my childhood that it does. It, it's like therapy. It brings me back to a nice place. I'm not saying. I, I'm okay. just going with the fact that you said you don't spend money. Okay, on but, the, but you're talking about these things were all over two years ago. Okay, what about the the piece of furniture slash anti like lo, the the test your love thing? Right, that was a thousand dollars. Okay, right. <laughs> right okay. Also, almost two years ago at this point. Fine. Uh, you purchased. Uh, well, what am I not supposed to? Didn't you recently purchase an autograph for a thousand dollars? No, it was the Blues Brothers. The Blues Brothers. I got a signed Blues Brothers vinyl signed by Aykroyd and Belushi. Which funny today when I got home before I came here, I got the uh, they finally sent the uh, authenticity and the handwriting analysis okay. of it and stuff like How that. How much was that? That was 
The a little less, seven hundred and six. Okay. Right. That okay, was, that's that was like right. a month ago. That was a month ago. You bought a gremlin for three hundred bucks a month ago. That's not a major purchase. Three hundred bucks is substantial. Okay, I, w- I would say three hundred and up is substantial. Yeah, but I feel like you've only named five things so far, and you're already dropping the price. Like I'll go back up. Bucks. I'll go back okay. up. Um, you purchased. Well, I can't. I can't really name. F- I can't say furniture. Right. I know I can't do that. Sure. How much was that skeleton? Uh, that wasn't. My, I don't remember a lot, but. Around the gremlin price. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, Decor. How much was the Roomba? Roomba was expensive. All right. Okay, fine. All right. But the Roomba I used. Didn't you buy a $300 notebook? Yeah, but I bought that as a gift for someone. All right. All right. But I bought that was a gift. Oh, I thought you bought one for yourself, too. That was a gift. Okay. All right. But you see what I'm saying? These are off the top of my head. Sure. All right. All right. Fine. So you spend money. Sure. Joe, Joe comes walks in his house one day. At least we have a, again. We're, four, we're we're thirty eight years old. Right. We're single and no children. You have a little bit of uh, 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 what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, disposable income. Disposable income. Sure. sure. 